Good day, buenos dias, bonjour. This is a special video, far from the usual content I put out. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while now, and if it's well received, then I'll do it again in the near future. Now, I know us guys, we don't usually talk about our feelings and emotions and stuff, but hear me out. Our mental health is just as important as our female counterparts, if not more. Because history has shown that us guys, when we go off the deep end, we will start wars and do a bunch of senseless killing, ruining countless lives all over some petty dumb shit. I'm not asking for likes and for new subscribers, but I am asking for you to share this for whoever needs to see videos like this because I want to have a deep, meaningful conversation with y'all, if you will allow me. Now, to my former classmates, y'all already know what this is. That's right. It's GGI. Say it with me now. GGI. Group Guidance Interaction. We used to have to do this activity every day after class. We'd pull all the chairs together to form a circle and we'd talk about our feelings. Now, at the time, I hated it. I didn't appreciate what the teachers were trying to do. I thought it was a waste of time because I'd rather have been in the rec room playing Smash Bros. But looking back, had I have applied the principles to my life, young as I was, I could have grown up to be a much better person than I am today. Not that I'm bad, but I could be better. Life is like an award-winning RPG. We each have our own different stories, form our own parties, deal with difficult situations and people, and grow from our experiences. That being said, I want to talk to y'all today about dealing with sadness and depression. I could go into vivid detail about how my sister's death almost ruined me, but I don't know if those feelings are contagious or if any of y'all are going through the same thing. I'd never felt sadness like that before, and I tried dealing with it in all the wrong ways. And what's fucked up about it all is that I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. We were just talking and then the next morning my mom calls and says she found her in the room, cold and lifeless. I'll never forget that day. It was one of the worst days of my life. I needed to eat, but I had no appetite and sleep was out of the question. My phone rang every two seconds and I had to tell my dad and my older two sisters what happened. I didn't even, I didn't know my dad was driving at the time and he almost had a wreck when I told him he had to pull over. It was the first time I'd ever seen my brother cry or show any kind of emotion for that matter. No one took it harder than my second oldest sister, however. She couldn't even speak. They were so close. They knew each other's secret crushes, you know, all of that sisterhood stuff. The last person I had to tell was my sister's boyfriend before one of the others had posted it on Facebook or something. I knew he was going to take it hard because they talked about getting married and having kids. But, yeah. Fast forward to today, I occasionally have dreams about my sister and they make me feel sad when I wake up because the dreams felt real, but they're not. Now GGI isn't just for y'all, it's for me too. So if y'all know anything that makes this easier to deal with, drop it in the comments and I'll respond. I've been told to pray about it, but if I can be real for a sec, that only works if you're like, super religious and I'm just not at that place right now. I was also advised to focus on all the good times we had together, but that doesn't make it any less sad. I can't even play GTA 5. She loved GTA 5 and was looking forward to GTA 6. I can barely play Kingdom Hearts now because she used to watch me play it back in the day. I wouldn't even have a YouTube channel if it wasn't for her. 
You play video games all the time. You should record it and put it on YouTube, she said. So yeah, in closing, you are not alone in dealing with crippling sadness and depression. Women get to talk about how they feel, so can we. If this discussion was helpful in any way, let me know, or if I should just fall back and let my games do the talking, just say so, but be respectful about it. Until next time, be safe out there and push those bad thoughts out of your mind. GGI over and out. To all my NTJCC graduates out there, do y'all remember Miss Jagers? Let me see if I can still do her voice. Hi, I'm Miss Jagers, and welcome to GGI. <laughs> no, we're not going to talk about Miss Jagers. She was really nice. She let us have pizza when we was misbehaving and acting and clowning, and she told us we wasn't going to get it, but we got it anyway. Shout out to Miss Jagers. Hope you're still doing well. And if I ever see you again, thank you. That pizza was good. Oh, is that you again? Do you have further offerings? God bless this brave... New notification. Mombasa. Trophy earned. Press the PS button for details. New notification. Trophy earned. Press the PS button for details.